Okay, this is your tutorial number three. Commands that we are going to use is line for making these lines, dimensions, snaps, layers for working with the layers, offset to offset these distances so we find the right locations for our grid. Circles copy once we're done with this we're gonna copy these center mark the center marks that you see over here text override which we used in the previous exercise the template that's used is tutorial IMFG okay so let's start with this drawing I'm going to start with my model top layer line Going from here, going this direction, 5, enter, going down, 2.5, sorry, it was 2.75, enter, going back this way, if I want to go back with 5, I can always move my mouse up here, so it gives me a guideline, and that's where I want to go, and click. So I got my outside rectangle now I have to put my grid where I will offset lines to get all my different locations I'm going to start from here which is point 0.38 so O enter point 0.38 enter this goes that way then again O enter point 0.88 enter was that way and then I hit escape hit spacebar again now the offset distance is 1 enter and there for these circles now I will go uh, which direction I'll go from here now okay going towards the right so offset point eight three three enter so I have to do it five times right for the tiny circles on the top okay so now I'll just go ahead and put these circles as well and then I can delete those lines because more lines in there it gets confusing now the diameter of this small circle is 0.25 so I go circle enter starting right there don't forget to hit D for diameter enter 0.25 okay and I'm going to copy the circle using the copy command enter I want to just copy the circle enter from the center to there to there there and there okay so my circles are done so I can select all of these lines and hit delete now I want to get to this Circle number two is one inch from the edge, offset one. So now I got the location for circle number two. I'm going to put in the circle number two using the circle command, center point, D for diameter, 0.625. Okay. Now I need this circle over here. So it's 0.38 height and 0.38 here to get the center right so I'm going to offset this line 0.38 now there are a couple ways of doing that as well like I already offset it this 0.38 so I already know this is 0.38 so I don't need to when I'm offsetting I don't need to enter that number again I could just use this as a reference so how do I do it I go O enter it's asking me specify offset distance I know that this is 0.38 so I can go click here and here so it detects that distance now it's asking me select object to offset so over here I didn't input the number I just clicked the right distance and I already got the distance this and that side so this is the center of that circle now the radius is 5 so the diameter would be how much 0.5 diameter would be 1 so circle enter 
from the center diameter 1 okay so now I'm done with this uh, I will have to place these now from the center is 2 and 1.5 so those are my two offsets so offset 2 and offset 1.5 okay so I got these two center as well now from the center to this one is 0.3 so I'm gonna offset that 0.3 from the center to this side from the center to this side let's see which one oh this is 0.3 as well so offset 0.3 from the center to this side from there to that side okay so only thing I need to do is put these at a certain height now from here if you see this is 1 and the second one is 1.25 okay so let me just put this one offset 1 from here going up so that's where is the center of this circle so I'll draw that circle from the center see I'm not even measuring to the edge okay I can delete that line now this is 1.25 so offset 1.25 this direction I think that is 1.25 right here so I'll do circle from the center till the edge okay can delete that line now so now the only command left is trim where we are going to trim and get rid of the lines that we don't need okay I can delete that line now I'll use the trim command TR or I could use it over here spacebar now it asks me to select in the trim command I'll select my whole screen or the whole drawing hit spacebar once the selection is done I'm going to trim all those lines in one go okay then I'll trim all these lines in one go okay now if I cannot trim this that means I have to delete it by selecting and hit delete see I'm in no command I just click on it delete click on it delete click on it delete delete and delete okay I don't even need this line so I'll delete it I had to trim these two circles as well so TR spacebar select the whole drawing spacebar trim that trim this trim that and trim this okay so now we're done with this drawing only thing we need to do is put in the dimensioning now we already did a few dimensioning in the previous uh, in the previous exercises so I'm not going to do everything but just put a few in here I make the dimension layer active click the diameter there that's your diameter okay click that diameter and I put it maybe here I could override this by typing 5 times diameter 0.25 now in my dimensioning if I go to annotation I go to the dimensioning in here I can put center marks to all my circles I click on that click the circle click on that click the circle okay enter or spacebar takes it back to your same command okay every time you have a circle you need to have a center mark associated with it so now that's done couple more dimensionings I can put in maybe from here till there at the total dimension I got the dimension for that and then I could put in these circles and these heights as well but I hope you understand how uh, I have worked with all these dimensions 
it's really simple most of them are linear dimensioning you just gotta click the first point and the last point and you understand what's going on okay something is wrong I gotta click on it move it click on it move it okay I'll click on that move it back okay and then I'll have another dimensioning going that way top to the bottom there to there okay same thing there to there what other dimensioning I could put in I have a radius here so I'll put in the radius click on there and that's my radius Okay, so I hope you followed this exercise, pretty simple to work with. The next exercise would be working with this particular one, where we are going to use ellipses, a few more commands, so you know, I'll see you in the next exercise then. Okay, alright, please like and share and subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.